What a beautiful day for a great Canadian hockey game at the Save On Foods Memorial Centre. I'm with my main man, Marty DeMarma, and we're hanging out at the home game. So thanks for joining us on Go Island. On today's show, a young ballet dancer bound for the big time and the sounds of big band, new musical bonds through old time tunes. And Dan Khan talks hockey on this week's edition of Talk To Me. All that and hopefully a few winning goals right here on Go Island. Thanks for joining us on Go Island. Yes, we're hanging out with the Victoria Royals on today's show. But just how is our hometown hockey team doing? Well, let's check in with the team's manager, Cam Hope. It's been a good season so far. Um, you know, since the Christmas break, we're one of the hottest teams in the league. So we're on a bit of a roll just at the right time. We're unfortunately blessed in the West with a lot of great teams. Uh, the Portland Winterhawks are fantastic perennially. The Kelowna Rockets are one of the top ranked teams in the nation. Unfortunately, we have to keep playing those guys. So uh, tough, tough games coming up. The exciting thing for all of us and for anyone who works in the industry, but also for the fans, um, is that on any given night, you can see 10, 12, 15 guys that are either NHL drafted players or guys that will be drafted in the next year or two. So uh, it's exciting and it's great to see their development. We've got some international talent in this building and there's a story that we've got from Karen El Gizma right now with some more international talent. It's a ballet dancer. She's only 13 years old and she's off to New York. New York or bust. Isn't she great? Bell of the ballet ball. Nice one, Sasha. And we wish you all the best in New York. Now, if you want to support her, she's having a special performance on Saturday, February 28th at Dance Victoria. Uh, information at dancevictoria.com or you can call 250-588-5529. But we can't hang out with the Victoria Royals without talking to one of the star players, Travis Brown. Uh, How's the team morale moving into the last part of the season here? You know what, I think it's really good. We have a really uh, tight-knit group over there, and uh, we're all buddies. It's one big family, so I think that's going to help a lot going into playoffs, and we're just trying to improve every day. Any specific tactics, techniques that you guys are working on right now with Coach Lowry? Uh, you know what, we're just making sure we're working on a full team game, making sure we're playing as a five-man unit in all three zones and making sure we're playing very uh, solid defensively. Are you getting tired at this point in the season? You play a lot of games. Yeah, we do, but you know what? Uh, some may get tired, but this is where it starts picking up. Everyone gets more excited when playoffs are coming around because it's a new season and uh, the level's just amped up that much more. We're inside the media box now. It's off limits to the public, but you've got your cameras for the various networks. You've got the play-by-play -play announcers. Cool stuff up here. And we've got some more cool stuff coming at you right now with this next story because Kevin Chirac meets a group of residents who get together once a week to play some big band music. Nice one, Kev. Thanks for bringing us that story. And big band music has a special place in my heart. It reminds me of my granddad. Do you know that the Island Big Band, one of the charities they actually donate to is the Mustard Seed. And this Saturday, they're having a coldest night of the year walkathon from 4 to 5 p.m. More information on that at mustardseed.ca. Front and center are the best seats in the house. I'm sitting with two brother-in-laws. Where's the wives today? Uh, shopping. <laughs> Mine's playing cards. Oh, yeah, like bridge? Oh, no, no, they're playing canasta. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what that is yet, but I'll find out one day. And in terms of uh, how many games do you get to catch from the Victoria Royals each season? Well, actually, I'm from Red Deer, Alberta, and I'm there visiting, and my son bought me five tickets for Christmas, and we're here now to see the five games. So you don't care if they win or lose. You're from Red Deer. Oh, well, I... No, actually, we're cheering for Moose Jaw. <laughs> I'm from Regina. Yeah, so you're not Royals fan either? No, just here visiting for five weeks. Right on. You just came to see some good Canadian hockey, right? Oh, always do. I've got season tickets to the Regina Pats, and he's got season tickets to uh, the Red Deer Rebels. Oh, well, welcome to our province, lad. Thank you. You must be the number one fan of the Victoria Royals that you've got your sweater signed by all the players, right? I am, yes. Yeah, who's on there? Uh, McGee, Hicketts, oh. the junior, um, Lucas, the other team now. You're not going to wash this then? No, I'm not. I got a back too. Oh, look at that. All right, what's your name? Kennedy. Uh, you've got a bunch of signs here. You handmade these? Yes. Who's your favorite players? Well, I like Jack Wa 
Walker number nine. Where's his sign now? His sign is right here. Wheelin Walker. Walker. How'd you come up with the first word to go with the last name? Well, we kind of watch how the players play, and then we observe when what they do to make how to describe them. Does now, is uh, Jack Walker wearing rollerblades then? <laughs> no, this time was just a funny little sign saying he wheels sometimes. He's a wheel and walker. Their energy is good. They seem to be going places this year. It's good to see. Yeah, what are your expectations for the playoffs? Are they going to come through for you, lads? Oh, that's what we don't want to see, though. We don't want to see that. A quick break now on Go Island, but just ahead. The puck's about to drop on another episode of Talk To Me. This time, Dan's talking hockey. Well, I'm going to watch the game for a bit, but we're going to go up island for this next story. There's a young photographer who's helping out a charity that's close to his heart, and Kelly Robinson has a story. Hey, uh, isn't it your turn to get the beers? I think it might be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> another quick break now on Go Island, but just around the corner, we're heading on another Arbutus RV island adventure to Nanaimo. Buttertubs Marsh is a nature retreat and bird sanctuary. How fun is this, eh? Front and centre for a home game of the Victoria Royals at the Save on Foods Memorial Centre. And if you want to catch the lads in person, a good opportunity this Saturday, February 21st. Puck drops at 7.05 p.m. It's called Hockey for Hospitals. So proceeds from each ticket sale will go towards buying emergency equipment at Vic General. I'm James Green, and we'll see you next time. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.